And as you look back over thinking of some of those council meetings that you've watched or things that you've heard or read in the paper, are there any particular decisions that you've watched council make or ways you've seen business done that you disagree with? I'm going to go pretty general on this. Uh, <clears throat> no specific issue comes to my mind at this particular time, but in a town where most of the retirees that live here used to be CEOs or stayed with a company for 40 years who know how to run a business, it just amazes me that they will go into a council meeting and fight with each other over certain, and I understand passion, oh, I understand passion. I, I, I do not discredit them for having passion on certain subjects. However, with all the great minds in this town, it seems like someone could help them gather together and figure out how to make it more of a forum where the, it's educational for everyone on the council and the city members rather than the city sitting high and dry up here and having the citizens just fight about things that maybe they're not that informed about in the first place because they didn't get all the info. So I think, I think the main thing that I see when I watch the city council meetings is just a lack of unity between the council and the citizens. And we're all in this together so there needs to be some sort of way that we can all work together to yes do this or no do this and yes I may be sad that this doesn't get passed but at least we're doing something proactive for the community and we're working together and that's the only way everyone's going to get on board well I'm you know I'm curious about I know you're real involved with social media how are you using that in your campaign you know I started my Facebook fan page as uh, the beginning. I hadn't even really told my husband that I was running and started a Leslie for Council fan page. And um, that was the very first time that politician came up because I, if you know me at all, you know I'm not a politician. I'm not very manicured in my wording. And you tend to know where you stand with me when you, li when you leave the room. Um, so he thought of all people that, you know, you're crazy. And uh, I started the fan page, and I had over 300 fans within three or four days. And I thought, well, you know, maybe it is time for somebody who will shoot straight and be honest with you. And if, if we keep having the same people, it, it's not the same person. It's the same kind of people running for city council. Nothing's ever going to change. One guy will leave, another guy will go in who he supports, who has the same exact ideas as him. City council is never going to change unless you put someone in there who wants to change it. So my social media campaign basically gave me the motivation to continue with this because this was so far outside of my box. I'm used to sitting behind a computer and studying the people, not going out and talking and giving speeches and answering questions and doing all this. So it's been a learning experience for me on that side of it. But the social media aspect has been wonderful because I get immediate feedback from any newspaper article I write, I post on that, or I'm in, I post on that web page. Anytime I appear somewhere, I post there, and I get immediate feedback from anyone who is there. I don't have to wait for a phone call. I don't have to wait for a letter or uh, the next newspaper article to come out, I get someone who says, oh, you did great. Next time I want you to talk more about this. You know, I'd love to see what you think about this. And it's, it's, a, it's an open conversation that I get to have with people in their environment and my environment where it's most comfortable. And I'm not knocking on doors and I'm not, you know, trying to, to drag opinions out of them. My site is there. If you want to tell me what you think, you can go there and anyone is free to write and I'm free to respond. So it's worked wonders in this. It's taught me lessons on what to do, what not to do, which may or may not be working. <laughs> but um, I actually do love my, my Facebook page. It's, it's been a wonderful tool in this whole city council extravaganza. Well, um, I think that's about all of the questions that we have for you. I would like to give you an opportunity just to tell us anything else maybe that we've missed or that you want to make sure readers 
people who watch this know about okay. it. Okay. Well, the, the main point I want to drive home in all of this is using common sense in everyday life needs to stop being underrated. There's a lot of inherently good people in this town, and the city needs to reflect that. Um, we can't sit back and just complain about certain things that we disagree with. We need to have someone that's an advocate that will do something on their behalf. Not everything is going to be a great idea. Not everything's going to get passed. But as a member of city council, if I'm elected, I can. the only thing I can promise is that I will sit up there as a citizen who pays taxes, who has children in the community, who has a vested interest in the community, and I will make the best decision that I possibly can on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm not going to promise lower taxes because that's ridiculous. I'm not going to promise taxes won't go up because that's ridiculous as well. Um, but on a case-by-case -case basis, I'm going to sit there and represent the community in a way that I would want to be represented.